So what was the process of making Scream Queens? Well, I actually came back and made a documentary called Never Sleep Again first. Mm -hmm. And it was good, but I wasn't really pleased with it. Mm. So I went off on tour for Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. And then we just started shooting the documentary. And it actually began here in Fort Lauderdale at uh, Pop Shot Comic-Con five years ago. Oh, nice. Yeah. So there's a lot of footage in, from Fort Lauderdale in the, in the documentary. You kind of love when you find all that footage to put in the next one, right? Oh, yeah. So, what was, so knowing that Nightmare 2 came out back in 1985, why do you feel like now was the right time to put out Scream Queen since it came out so long ago? Well, it's a, it's a cultural icon at this point. And when I came back for the 30th anniversary of the thing, it, uh, my fame at this point is worldwide. It's not uh, uh, small, it's large. And I decided that I could do, use that to... Um, to talk about some issues that I wanted to talk about, which were like bullying and homophobia, HIV, those kind of things. And so it just was a natural evolution. And so once we made the documentary, uh, the reception has just been unbelievable, really. It's amazing. Well, congratulations on the film. I'm really excited to see it. I'm a big Nightmare on Elm Street oh, fan fantastic, myself. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Well, it's a deep dive. It's a, <laughs> it'll surprise you. It's like a Nightmare on Elm Street is the, the icing, and there's some serious cake underneath there that's nice. really good. So you'll enjoy it. You'll right, enjoy thank it. you so much for talking oh, to us, Mark. Absolutely. Of course. So nice to see you. you as well. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.